on the old computer typing away. And uh, I look and I look up and it's third down for the Dallas Cowboys in oh, over time. I think they threw like an incomplete pass or something or a penalty. Nonetheless, it's like fourth and four, right? They're at the 20 yard line and over time it's tied 28 one. You think, what do you think? Oh, they're going to go for a field goal. They're going to kick it. Yes, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers is going to get a chance, but we're going to get three points, right? What does Mike McCarty do on fourth down, guys? He goes for it on fourth down in overtime. Now, it is a damned if you do, damned if you don't call, right? Big, 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 because let's say he gets it. We are praising this man. What a great call. What a great gu- gutsy call. Way to go into Lambeau and win it for the old Gipper, right? Or this is a complete butt call, and you are terrible. <laughs> but nonetheless... Me and my wife were sitting on, sitting there, and I'm like, he is going for it on fourth down? And she's like, yeah, how stupid is that? I'm like, it's very freaking stupid. Very freaking stupid. Nonetheless, they did not get the fourth down. They ended up giving Aaron Rodgers the ball like a 25-yard line or 30-yard line or something to that effect. He went down and ultimately won the game, right? So the first if or then statement of the night If Mike McCarty and the Dallas Cowboys do not go to the NFC Championship game after this foboggle, he is fired after this season. If Mike McCarty and the Dallas Cowboys do not make it to the NFC playoff game after this fuck up, he is fired. He is out of Dallas. Why? Because this is not the first mess up that he had. Let's flash back to the playoffs a couple years. Was it last year, right? It was third and long, 30-some seconds left. They're driving down the field. And somehow I tried to defend that this was a good play call. But let's just be honest. This is absolutely shit play call. Quarterback draw for 20-some yards, yada, yada, yada. No time. Mouse left. I believe they're down by six like like at the time. Um, Needless to say, they end up losing that game as well from another bad play call. Guys, Mike McCarty might be the worst crunch time coach ever. You know how we're looking at Nathaniel Hackett and doesn't know how to like time manage and like all this crap and he had to hire like a coach to be like some type of time management coach and keep him on track type thing. Mike McCarty is great from, I mean, let's not go crazy about it, but he's a good coach from first quarter until the fourth quarter to about three, three minutes left. And then like he legit forget how to coach. Now, I've seen people in these Dallas Cowboys groups defending this man. It was the right play call. They, they were driving down the field. It was a, yes, it was a great drive. Besides the holding call, the 12 guys on the field, the three or four incomplete passes that they had in a row. Uh, do I need to go on? Like, it, it, it just, it, nothing <laughs> was working for them on those final set of plays. And to go for it? Come on, man. That is, that is, that is stupid, man. Like, come on. But yeah, if Mike McCarney and the Dallas Cowboys do not make the NFC Championship game after this mess up in Green Bay, he is fired at the end of the season. He should be. Definitely should be. And I think he will. I think the writing is on the wall for Mike McCarty right now. And I almost secretly think he wants out of Dallas for checking out that man hour clip. If you're interested in the next video, click the link right here. Of course, subscribe right here. And always join us Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. East Coast time right here where you're watching this clip. And as always, Man Hour Nation, rise up.